Hey guys, this is Jeffrey Antonico Diaz and you're watching the significance of old school technology. This is the right time for you to learn the importance of server operating system. There are lots of popular server OS and one of them is Microsoft Windows Server. In here, we're going to learn the introductory information about Microsoft Windows Server operating system. In 1988, Microsoft formed what would become the development team for the Microsoft Windows NT product. The team's goal was to develop a 32-bit multi-purpose operating system in anticipation of a PC chip architecture that was still a few years away. Microsoft Windows Server 2003 is the evolution of the server operating system that Microsoft began with the release of the first version of Windows NT Server in 1993. Launched in April 2003, the Windows Server 2003 family takes the best of Windows 2000 server technology and makes it easier and more cost-effective to deploy, manage, and use. The result is a highly productive infrastructure that helps organizations do more with less. The first Server operating system to feature built in Microsoft.NET functionality, Windows Server 2003 delivers significantly greater dependability, security, and scalability compared to earlier versions. Four versions are tailored to the varying needs of organizations. Windows Server 2003 has four playboards Standard Edition, Enterprise Edition, Data Center Edition, and Web Edition. Windows Server 2003 Standard Edition provides a solution for the departmental and standard workloads and support file and printer sharing, helps secure internet connectivity, centralizes deployment of desktop applications, and enhances collaborations among employees, partners, and customers. Windows Server 2003 Enterprise Edition is the platform for mission-critical server workloads. By delivering high reliability, scalability, and performance, it offers a superior value to businesses of all sizes. Windows Server 2003 Data Center Edition is designed to support the highest levels of scalability and reliability. It is available in both 32-bit and 64-bit versions through original equipment manufacturer partners. Windows Server 2003 Web Edition is a single-purpose operating system for dedicated web serving and hosting. It provides a platform for rapidly developing and deploying web services and applications. So we're going to focus our activity on installing Microsoft Windows Server 2003 Standard Edition. This portion would give you the chance to create and format the partition you want to use for Microsoft Windows Server 2003 system files. To start setting up the operating system, press Enter key. Always remember before installing an operating system, don't forget this simple advice. Read the entire license agreement. If you are pretty sure about the agreement, simply press F8 key. In this activity, we will create two partitions. To create a partition in that partition space, press C. Our assigned capacity for first partition is 30,001 megabytes, which is more or less equal to 30 gigabytes. To set up Windows on selected item, press Enter key. After creating the partition, format it using NTFS file system. This file system is specifically designed for Microsoft Windows NT-based operating system. Ignore the message, press any key to boot from CD. This is the graphical portion of Windows Setup, where you can select regional settings and entering the details such as product key, computer name, and administrator password.
If you are a newbie, I'd rather suggest to read all the information written in order for you to learn something new about installation. Not just for Microsoft Windows Server 2003 Standard Edition, but also in other installation procedure because for me, reading is essential in our profession. To start the procedure, simply click Next button. Type the volume license product key below and then click Next button. In licensing modes, there is per device licensing and per server licensing. Although per device is usually makes more sense than per server, but in this video we will select per server. As an administrator of an organization, it is important for you to understand the significance of server name. You've also got to set a password to the local administrator's account. Legions of disgruntled IT people who've decided to take up a career in hacking are the ones that we've considered why we are putting good passwords on our accounts. Let's try to proceed empty password. We have no choice but it is strongly recommend that your Microsoft Windows Server operating system needs to assign a complex password. Let's try to use weak password. Don't forget to assign strong password to your server operating system. In this activity, we will use capital A, small b, small c, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as our assigned password. A password also enables a local account to log on to Windows over a network. Again, 
इग्नोर द मैसेज प्रेस एनी की टू बुक फ्रॉम सी बी Press Control Alt Delete to begin. Type capital A small b small c one two three four five six and then press Enter key. Click the red icon to change the display settings. That's all for now. Keep safe and see you next time here on the significance of old school technology.